Welcome back everyone, my name is Eltamar and we are going to be continuing our Let's Play of Pathfinder Kingmaker. Where we left last time, we were about to level up our characters. Our cleric has hit level 6, and he's going to get his standard points, except he needs persuasion, not perception. Actually, that's not true, he just needs more persuasion. Always persuasion, all the time. Um, He is an Ecclesia third. he didn't get any feats or anything exciting, there's literally nothing against this level. It's a very boring level for him. Uh, as for Valerie, let's pull up her build that I have going for her. I know it cuts the sound for the game every time I do that, which is really annoying, but uh, that's just the way it is. So she's going to be a fighter this level. And we are going to get her to have athletics and perception and persuasion. But most importantly, we're going to get her to take a weapon specialization, I believe. Yes. That is what she's doing this level. Yep. So, the other thing we can get her actually at this level is Dazzling Display, but I think we already got that at a different level. I've kind of screwed up her build a tiny bit, but you know what's fine. She has Weapon Specialization Rapier, and that is good enough for her. Done. Amiri is going to go... let me grab hers... There we go. Uh, this level is another Sacred Huntsman level for her. She's just cruising through the Sacred Huntsman. Uh, we're going to get her some Mithril Armor at some point so that she can actually use her Inquisitor powers because largely right now she just has them and she's not using them because of her heavy armor, of course. Uh, her favorite enemy on this one's going to be humans. We fight a lot of humans in this game, so it's really good to have... Uh, the human things. And the spell we're going to grab for her right now is going to be Invisibility. Which is going to give her a little bit of interesting stuff in the future when she can actually cast spells. Lindsay is going this level into Bard. She's going to be more bardy. In fact, I don't think she takes too many other levels uh, until we hit level 9 and then she starts being an Eldritch Knight, which is going to be an interesting little uh, diversion from her normal class path. Uh, we're going to grab these and that one. Sure, that looks pretty good, I guess. Her spell is going to be... doesn't really matter too much, actually. Uh, probably mirror image, actually. Uh, heroism? Heroism's quite good, too. Let's grab heroism. Or we can grab... these spells last forever. Well, literally minutes per level. They can actually end up lasting a long time. How long does Heroism last? 10 minutes per level. Okay, so this lasts a really long time. We should probably grab that so we can use it in like whole dungeons. We can just Heroism the whole team and go on from there. Octavia is, I believe, going into Arcane Trickster this level. This is her first Arcane Trickster level. Uh, let me just make sure that's what we're doing. I'm almost 100% certain it is, and it is. So she's getting Arcane Trickster, which is her Eldritch class, or not Eldritch class, but her advanced prestige class, I guess, is more accurate. Uh, she'll take trickery and knowledge, knowledge and perception and persuasion. Mobility, not super de duper important, but whatever. Uh, we're also going to grab the spell's acid arrow because it's really good for her, and glitter dust, which will help us with some things in the future. But acid arrow is quite good, especially against trolls, which we're going up against, uh, and the ones that can't be killed by fire will require some good old fashioned acid to the face. We are going to level up Canera as a kineticist. Yes, she's a dark elementalist currently. Uh, we're going to grab... I didn't want to deviate from her pre-built dark kineticist. Oh, no, that's wrong. We need... Trickery is not as important, or stealth is not as important as persuasion is. Lore nature is actually a little bit more important than mobility, I think, even. Oh, there we already got lore nature, so mobility is fine. There we go. Uh, she's gonna take... I should have pulled up her build, but I knew it. I thought I knew what I was doing, but I apparently did not. This is Canera, right? Yeah, okay. Uh, she's taking... What is she taking? Oh man, I am messing this up. Burning Infusion. That's what she's taking. Uh, this allows Kinetic Blasts to ignite foes, which cause them to take extra fire damage. Unfortunately, the next little part of the game is not going to be very fire intensive. We're going to have some problems I'm with that. And we need to quickly... Uh... You know, I've never actually swapped her to her <laughs> sister's character. There we go, that's the one. I'm willing to bet. There we go. 
call for it. Let's we'll put them both on that bar. And we'll level her up too. Uh, basically the exact same thing, to be honest. Do do No. Yep. God, her skills are just really bad comparatively. Anyways, Burning Infusion, done. Just in case we need to swap them out at some point in time. Now we can. Alright, so. Now we can leave and do more things. There's something here. A high rock. Oh right, this is where this is where the people were stuck. Hey guys. You hear a voice from somewhere above you. You there, help us. A man wearing simple clothes waves to you from the top of a massive rock. Hunters we are. We were camping in the woods, then suddenly we were up here. Some weird magics or something, I guess. For God's sake, please help us. How did you get up there? No clue. We were heading off to sleep when a dream came over us. A bright one, too. All three of us were in a river, and the current was sweeping us away. The trees on the shore were too high, up to the sky, I tell ya. And the clouds were above were like mountains. We went over a waterfall and hurtled down. Next thing, or next I knew, we were up here on this rock, wet like drowned rats. I've never seen anything like it, and I hope never to have again. Um. How many of you are there? Has anyone wounded? We're just two. I'm mostly good, thank Arasta. Lynn in here, though she came down pretty hard. She's got some broken ribs, can hardly breathe. As for Doolin, or Dalton, sorry, I think he's dead. I can only see his feet sticking out of the rock. There's some dwarf corpse up here, too. Guess he got here the same way we did. We try and catch the hunters using a stretched out cloak. We'll try and catch you, but please be careful. I guess. You manage to get a cloak stretched taut to try and catch the hunters. The man above pushes his wounded friend down first, then jumps himself. You catch them both without any trouble. The hunter hands you a gilded metal cog. Here, as a reward for your efforts, I found it on the corpse up there. It looks valuable. Digging through his pockets, the hunter pulls out a small purse. Take this too. Linnell and me owe you our lives, after all. We do need the cog. That is an important item. And that is why we saved their lives. Cogs are important, specifically in this zone. Right, there were trolls here. I completely forgot about the 900 trolls. Well then, let's uh, let's get this party started. The branded troll is not one we can hit, but I gotta pause for one second here. My apologies, had to quickly pause there for a second, take a phone call. Uh, Alright, we're gonna start shooting at things, specifically this troll first. We almost killed it in a single fire blast. Look at that fire blast crit, 32 damage. Oh. Our main character is going to cast Bless to start this out with. And probably. So we'll start shooting the. Oh, it's a Boomsayer. Shoot, we got to spread out. Okay. I might actually just. Mm, is this a surprise round? No, you should have standard action. Why am I not. Oh, because I. Can I reach? Weird. Okay, well, whatever. Apparently we can cast Acid Splash, but we can't cast Enlarge Person. Oh god, Octavia! Okay, that's fine. Never mind. That's fine. Everything's coming up okay. There is a, that boom serum. I'm a little bit worried about. Alright. We're in melee with the boom serum. That sucked. Our Smilodon is going to take a couple hits. Alright, Amiri's turn. She's going to go just try and destroy this troll. You... Okay, good. She didn't She didn't necessarily screw up too badly. It wasn't the ideal situation. Damn it. I was kind of hoping that would hit. Alright, that troll's dead. Canara's turn again. The branded troll is going to be completely unhittable for her. So we're going to start taking on the other troll. Uh, Eltamar. We need to move you up here-ish. Try and keep our... Smilodon alive. Octavia. We should try and get some acid damage on that one troll, I guess. Three whole damage. Nice. Solid. Okay. Five attacks on the Booms here. Not the best situation. Oh no, our Smilodon actually just straight up died. We're gonna have to rest and get it back. Serves you right. We really need to start hitting that branded troll though. Okay. 
Um, let's see if we can't get around behind that one boomstayer again. Okay, Valerie, oh, Valerie is stunned or something. Only 13 damage. She's still got great armor despite being stunned. And we're just kind of stuck here doing whatever. Octavia. Keep acid on that one troll. Oh god, Amiri. Wait, how did it move and do a full round attack? That's not okay. That's cheating. Alright, that one's dead. Barely injured. 28 damage. Okay, good. We did kill it. Let's move in behind this troll. Valerie is going to move into tank and actually deal 25 sneak attack damage. Uh, now we have slightly a bit of a problem here because we literally can't do damage to this one currently. Like, we can shoot and miss, but that was... Even if we didn't miss, we wouldn't probably do any damage. Amiri is going to be in big trouble here, though. There's really nothing we can do about it. Survive. Luckily, she's not dead, just unconscious. Any last wishes? Badly injured. Back attack did not do any damage. Stay behind me. Twenty-five extra damage. Taste my fury. Zero damage. How much would we have hit for? It doesn't matter. We would have done twenty-five damage, but it's completely resisted. Almost dead. Delay till after the Smilodon. I'm gonna use the Smilodon to eat the AOO. Although it didn't matter because he just killed it anyways. I was gonna get a Miri up if the AOO didn't, or if there was no AOO to deal with. That said, we need to camp because we are down a Smilodon and they're kind of important for flanking mostly. Luckily we can camp right here in the middle of this lovely road area. And we killed some more trolls. Uh, we will not be able to use our special rolls, so it doesn't really matter. Rest time. Let's see how long it takes. Oh, two hours. That's not so bad. Camouflage worked out. Cooking worked. Everything worked out pretty well. Look at that. We're going to be all healed up. This is actually a pretty good rest. All things considered, this worked okay. I see something. Oh, I see. Dwarven helmet shard. Always sort of important, I guess, if we want to make the item eventually, which we should, because I've never actually made the full items. I should really work on that this time. What you want. Stop, 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 stop. Everyone stop. Everyone group up. There's no use running around in weird circles. There's banditos. Game quick save. Hold up, why is my formation all messed up? This is a problem. Oh well. Let's charge that bandit. What do we have exactly? Two crossbows, one's a transmuter, one's not. That's a long charge, but totally worth it. Worked out really well. I don't know what it just cast. Slow. Oh, how annoying. My poor Smilodon got slowed. Double move. You can't double move. Fine, whatever. Shoot that dude in the face. What a jerk. This stupid... Slow. That was annoying. At least Amiri is not slowed. And it's gonna go take... A solid chunk out of that transmuter. Damn it, my work computer locked. Ugh. Those are terrible attacks. Octavia's turn. Sure. Fire away with your acid splash. Two whole damage. Nice. We need to get a sneak attack on this guy. That guy's dead. Did you just slow again? 
Oh, you are just cruising for death. You deserved it. That was a terrible shot. Burn. The next feat we are for sure getting um precise shot though. Strike as one. I mean we desperately tried to hit there. Let's see if she can kill the transmuter. There we go. How much damage did you do? Nine. Nine is okay. Oh, it's slowed now too, but luckily you can get into range, but it can only do one action a turn. Slow is actually really bad. Uh, you can only do one of move, standard, I think, or just one swift action, maybe two swift actions. But you really can't do a whole lot on your turn. You can't even charge, because technically charge requires full movement. Do not hold back. Oh, Amiri. You make me- or not Amiri, Valerie. You make me so sad sometimes. Alright, well we won. That's the important part. We'll wait for slow to wear off. Now there was a chest over here somewhere we were going to get. We got sidetracked. Is it locked? Done and done. Yes, but we picked it just fine. We have shards, night bracers, one heavy crossbow plus one, and a potion of invisibility. How long does this slow last for? Two more seconds. Okay, it's wearing off. There we go. Alright, where are we? We need to go down here. Which is actually on the other side where we came from. We need to explore the whole zone before we get to the tower so that we can do the tower opening thing. I think we got a pretty decent set of plate armor out of it too. I think it's full plate plus two. Wait, hang on. Before we go fighting this thing, these wolves... What is up? Oh, our formation is correct. Weird. Oh well. Hi wolves. That's a lot of wolves. That is more wolves than I initially anticipated in this fight. Don't, don't run. That's fine. Okay. You know what, just... Wait, this is Octavia. Why did I think this was Canera? Whoops. Alright, delay until... here. Delay until there. Oops, not end turn. I meant to delay. Delay until there. Delay. No, don't delay. Just do your song. You cast bless. Done. Alright, Alpha Wolves will move in. And we oh, got stuck. Apparently we're in a... Ugh, oh, awful. Apparently we're in a pretty good position. And Octavia can just shoot the wolf. She may color spray, like, over here if we need her to. Holy shit, she dealt 36 damage that hit. That was actually very impressive. We shall overcome. We don't need anything else in terms of spells just yet. It's just one alpha wolf in range, so... That guy is just freaking out. Oh, you got one attack off. Properly. Oh, the ferocious wolves are coming in. One of them is already dead. That one's not able to reach anyone. Alright, let's move up a little bit here. Not too much. We should probably give her more spells as well. Not that she ever uses anything but her beam anyways. But she's level 6 now. She pressed level 3 spells. Come on, Valerie, get... No, you're not gonna get to range. <laughs> okay, fine, whatever. It doesn't matter right now. Oh, this is going... We definitely need precise... Stop! You're in range! You're standing on top of him! Why do you keep moving around him weirdly? Dead. Ow. What a jerk. Wait, no, that's not what I meant to hit. That was close. Damn, Valerie just murked to that one. 
I remember these being one. tougher for some reason. Okay, before we do anything else, because I just realized I've made a grave error. Well, not that bad, but somewhat of an error. I guess she only has level 2 spells, but we don't have any Scorching Rays or Acid Arrows. Or even Bull's Strength, which... Uh, hang on, we should probably reconsider our level 2 spells here. Okay, Scorching Ray is not going to be very good. We're fighting against things that... Oh, she has Acid Splash, and Scorching Ray does way more damage. We'll get three Scorching Rays and one Acid Splash. That's not even what I put on, though. Yeah. Okay, this is what I'm going to do. Like that. Or two Scorching Rays and two Bull Strengths. Ah, uh, there we go. That's what we'll do. Okay. What do we got for Corpse? Dead Person, Hand X plus one, Bandit Letter, White Cog Wheel Ring. Oh, hang on. These guys are... Are these the toughest ones? Wargs, yes. Okay. These are the tougher fight. I remember there was a tough wolf fight in this area, and I think this is the one. Here. I'm listening. I am yours to command. Yup, this is definitely it. They made the weird flaming thing and now they're all very angry. We're still blessed, aren't we? Okay, we don't need to cast Bless. What we will cast, though, is Archon Shield on her. And then just kinda... take a couple steps back. No point in getting into that... mess. Octavia. Amiri is now gigantic. Yeah, they do just absolutely crap tons of damage. We might not be able to win this. They almost killed our tank in a single round, but we'll see what happens. Badly injured one. The Alpha Warg is gonna suck to fight. Valerie, I don't really know what to do with you. If you stand up, you're going to immediately die, so I'm just going to delay you until after Eltamar and hope that you survive. Keep this up much longer. Got a little bit of health back. Just, you know what? You're tanking just fine there on the ground. Just go until there. A solid no hits. What's their armor class? Their armor class is only 21 and we have plus 12 to hit. We literally had to roll a 9, and we missed every single attack. Wonderful. Alright, so we do need better spells. Let's, I don't think the color spray is going to really work. Oh, don't do that. Uh, yeah, maybe not. But we can do some... Some spells, like Magic Missile, I guess, on that one. 5 hole damage, good, solid. I just, I'm honestly going to say that if we stand her up, she's going to die, so I'm going to hope that she can just hold on on the ground. <laughs> Which is awful to say, but really might be our only bet until she heals up more. Okay. I'm going to try and heal her with Lindsay. Oh, she screwed up her spell because she couldn't path properly. Damn it. Alright, we're going to rage too. One warg dead. Why are you doing this to me? Oh, solid. A hit. A couple hits. Three hits? Oh my god, we did some moderately good damage there. No, don't die. I need you to... You were supposed to be regaining life, not losing it. Fourteen life back. Just don't stand up. It's fine. The rest of us have got this, maybe. Okay, Octavia. That's just a terrible idea all around. I'll fight if I have to. Two damage. Avenge me. This is going to hurt. Twelve damage, okay. Now Lindsay, you really only had to do one Oh, you can't actually get past Amiri. I see what it is. Well, Heroism Amiri, she might as well do more. 
Amiri, can you move, like, r move a little bit this way? Or, like, this way, even? Bring it. 23 damage. And more heal. Six whole hit points now. Alright, here we go. Fight the injured one. Almost dead. Octavia. You can't stop me. Killed another one. So there's only two left. This is actually going okay. You still can't stand up, though. After Lindsay, though, you should be able to. I think we cleared a path for Lindsay. Burn. No guarantees, though. Can you reach Valerie? Sweet. No, no, you were just supposed to stop right there. Why are you doing dumb things like continuing to move? You didn't have to move, and now you screwed everything up again. Ugh, fine, whatever, it doesn't matter right now anyways. There we go. And we're just going to move up over here. And just move up. Yeah, right here. That's fine. That Alpha Warg is actually not doing a whole lot. This is kind of nice because... I get the Smilodon move. There we go. Alright. Valerie is not in melee? It's already got... Did it already do an AOO? It doesn't matter. We're just going to wait. Now Lindsay needs a pretty good heal too. Because she did a dumb... The Alpha Warg has a lot of life. And what's its armor? 23. It's not the worst in terms of armor. We've definitely fought worse things, but it does have a fair amount of armor. Flames take you. We're dealing some pretty decent damage here. Now, Lindsay, please, for the love of God, you are standing on top of Valerie. All you have to do is use the spell. And we missed. It missed too. We're doing some good damage. All right, up we go. We're gonna get. We're gonna attack. We're not gonna attack because we're out of action points. But still, we moved. We don't really need to heal either. We're doing pretty okay in terms of health at the moment. See, those Smilodons become really good, and they'll get better as the game progresses as well. That five attack though. Walk backwards. Just stay out of the fight. This is where I step in. Bring it. Oh, I was really kind of hoping that she would finish that off. Unfortunate that our Smilodon got hit, but he's back up. Do not fall down. And we missed again. We shall overcome. We've had such good luck with our attack rolls recently that it's time for us to miss every attack. Nope, there we go. We killed the Alpha Warg. All the Wargs are dead. I remember that fight being tougher, too. Maybe... Turn-based mode makes the game easier. Also, there's a fly buzzing around my head, and it's very annoying. Studded Leather plus two might be useful for Octavia. Although that might get her for an arcane penalty. Although she's an arcane trickster, so I think she can wear... Studded Leather and also be a caster at the same time? Maybe? I don't remember now. Uh, not that. This one. Can use trickery to range of 30 feet. Sneak attack damage. Impromptu sneak attack is good. Invisible thief. We can become invisible. But you could use studded leather with casters, though. Where is it? Arcane spell failure chance 15. Let's not risk it. She doesn't get involved in combat anyways. She'll never reach an armor class that is, you know, capable of actually taking a hit anyways, so there's no point in forcing her to wear some armor. Also, I think we're almost out of time on this video. We have two of the cogs. I think there's three in total? Or maybe there's four. I also hear more wolves somewhere up ahead. I'm just going to join up the parts of the map here, and then we are going to call it for now. Apparently we have found some banditos. Oh, we, for a time. 
We found many bandits. Okay. Uh, you know what? The initial round of combat is going to determine how tough this fight's going to be. They have 20 armor. Oh my god. It's going poorly for us. What is its armor class? 16 touch. We only had to. Yeah, never mind. Ow. I'll fight if I have to. Oh, at least we hit something for once. Our character's down. Right. We still haven't hit a single actual enemy, though. There we go. Finally. Ha! Two hits. Let us strike as one. There's another rogue, apparently. I'm just gonna move you up a little further. I want to get hopefully a decent color spray off. One of them did not succeed, but what the other one did? Almost killed that one in a single hit. Five attacks again. Here we go. There we go. Finally. All right, this might be over pretty quick here. <sighs> Unsurprisingly, we missed our attack. Taste my fury. Stop shooting Amiri so much. Also, we really need to rest after this, I think. Can you charge after attack? No, you definitely can't. Oops. That's not what I meant to do. Now we can't charge. Can we charge from here? No, because it's not a good line of sight. Alright, that's fine. We'll just walk up around here. Can you charge? I think the tree's in the way. There's a shrubbery that's in our way. This is for you. Oops, wrong character. Onwards. Stay behind me. And fire at its face. 21 damage. Immediate death from three attack of opportunities. Bring it. Amira, you could have just ended the fight and we would have been done, but no. Let us strike as one. Technically it's dead, but not quite dead enough. Now it's dead enough. Alright, everyone's alive again. We should rest, probably. I didn't expect an ambush, although I really should have, judging by the body on the ground. Now we're done our video, though, for, for this one. Like always, if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. Take care.